Hi, very good morning to you. It's Jim from our Star Observatory. Guys, as you know, tomorrow is a very important day here at the observatory. We take out the SD card out of the TriMax system and calculate that data to give us the new position of the magnetic north pole over the northern hemisphere. As you know, uh, recently we have observed a tracking of the magnetic north pole easterly going back over the direction it has been currently traveling. Because if you've been following us since we've been tracking the magnetic north pole, you'll know that it has been always tracking westerly towards central Russia. So tomorrow is a very big day for us here at the observatory. We break out the magnetosphere sensor data as well as the TriMag and we invite you to join us and um, discover what is going on right now. You know, we're almost closer to that month of March, the predicted date where the theoretical uh, magnetic north pole should begin to migrate much quicker. What we've been witnessing is a magnetic pole move backwards and then forwards. Um, so let's see what happens tomorrow when we break out the SD card. Let's have a look at the position. Is it still tracking easterly uh, back over its current path that it's been progressing or is it going to move westerly we just don't know we've got to wait and see till tomorrow so like you i'm also on the edge of my chair um, in anticipation waiting for what is um, about to be revealed tomorrow and you know i'm inviting you to join me you know things are starting to ramp up in our world you know the anomalies uh, relating to earth you know like volcanic activity of quakes that we've seen recently in Turkey where you know many tens of thousands of people have died been hundreds of thousands of people displaced millions of people have been displaced um, if we can only put ourselves in that that position of what they're experiencing now we'll all uh, appreciate the benefits of some preparedness of any sort any sort little or large you know, if you've got a bug out bag, if you've got some food storage and you've managed to, you know, avoid, you know, the dangers of the catastrophe, be it floods, uh, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, etc., etc., you know, or, you know, uh, breaking records of freezing temperature. If you have made some prepare, prepares for your family and your loved ones, then you are automatically for that reason way better off than them um, my preparedness has never stopped um, you know I've not spent a great deal of money on on the things that I've prepared for but I've always added to it you know if you've got nothing at all buy yourself a fire striker buy yourself a cheap hand axe you know you can keep your family warm with those things you know what I'm talking about those magnesium strikers that you can submerge in water time and time again just dry it off with a you know a bit of clothing or something and you're good to go again you know you can strike another fire up um, if you've got that knowledge as well of how to light fire with kindling uh, suitable to be lit with um, magnesium iron strikers you know it's just very simple things and you can buy these off eBay Amazon for as little as one pound fifty doesn't cost a lot of money but you know what can be in some circumstances life-saving equipment you know you can add to that a sleeping bag um, you know uh, a small camping stove that you can just chuck a few twigs in and you know you can light a fire and you know heat up some snow or you can purify some water it's just simple simple things that you know, should have been taught everybody at school, but for some reason, you know, everything has been took for granted these days, and you know, most people are pacified with their own daily lives that they don't have time to think about such things. You know, I ask people sometimes, you know, on a clear day, did you notice the sun rising this morning? They say sometimes we never even looked at the sun today, or or albeit the moon last night you know they're just 
that pacified and caught up in their own world through the distractions of just trying to get through the week through the month that you know they forget these things so you know I urge you if you've not done this already and I know a lot of people that listen to me on this channel have taken the initiative to get a few things together have done that already but if you haven't please for your family and loved ones sakes you know buy just a few things start off with you know maybe some water purifying tablets uh, you know a magnesium fire striker a hand axe because with a hand axe you can build a temporary accommodation and with that magnesium iron striker you can light a fire and that means you're out of the elements and you're warm and your loved ones are warm if you've had a food storage going you know where you chuck in a few extra cans of a few things you know you buy a pack of pasta um, or rice you know you have a meal as well you see we're ticking off the bare essentials of life sustaining things that can keep you alive in current times where you know these global anomalies are taking you know a toll for the worst I don't want you left behind in any way shape or form you know we have enough going on in our daily lives right now and things that are being thrown at us you know it is crazy not to make some provisions you know I'm sure those people in Syria and Turkey would say to you guys you know absolutely Jeannie's right it's worth listening to and it's worth following up on you know so you know when you see as we have done over the last few years <coughs> excuse me many many millions of people think about those numbers millions of people being displaced tens of thousands of people being killed through just being caught up in natural anomalies natural geological events and largely it is preventable honestly a lot of these things could have been avoided just by some simple provisions um, I want to talk a little bit more about this uh, later on in the video but you know what I have to give credit where credit's due to a few people and um, you know like I've, I've done the last few days uh, shouted out a few people that have you know chucked a few books into our observatory so that we can keep going you know so that we can keep buying you know small amounts of equipment so that we can manufacture small um, devices such as the muon detectors uh, the magnetosphere uh, or the magnetic intensity monitors and uh, keep the trimag running so with that let me just say a big thanks to Andrea, Jennifer, Miller City Farm, Gerald, Jonah, Melissa, A.H., Alison, Robert and David. Right, there's 10 people there that over the last few days have chipped in a few books for this observatory. And that's 10 people out of 10,000 that we did on our last video. We had 10,000 views and we had 10 people step up to the mark and chip in a few books. Now, the, some of the information that we give on this channel is life-saving, without no doubt. And those people that I've just mentioned, and the people that I've mentioned before in previous videos recently, are definitely helping save people's lives. Because if somebody is listening to this in any of the third, second and first world countries and pay attention to what we're saying first of all they're going to know a couple of things that what we talk about can be backed up by facts this isn't hyperinflating any of the topics that we talk about our earth is going through a magnetic reversal and right now I think we're at a pinnacle point where something is about to happen especially with what has been announced by that professor in California uh, with regards to the Earth's core slowing down. And you can only imagine some of the implications that's going to have 
as that continues to slow down more. Maybe clutching effect where you know some of the um, material grabs hold of the outer mantle and of course that is going to encourage you know the plate tectonics to move about you know the subduction zones the convergent domes the divergent dome zones you know all these plates that have their special unique abilities to fold and overlay and overlap each other you know you can imagine that earthquakes of a more serious uh, magnitude are going to occur more frequently we might possibly start to see although we haven't at the moment an increase in the rate of volcanic eruptions as you know we monitor more than just the magnetic north pole on this channel we monitor a lot of the um, natural anomalies that take place on our, on our in our world and sometimes you know we talk about other events you know i just give my opinion to things like such as the way the global economy is being uh, run you know how the united nations are actually affecting everybody's life in the world you know we talk about co2 lies you know how the governments around the world are blaming co2 on global warming yet you know when we look at the arctic quantities of ice you know they're rebounding 300 kilometers square kilometers a vast massive expanse of land of ice has already rebounded over the last 10 years and mainstream media doesn't talk about it co2 doesn't get a mention that it's actually been reducing for the last year you know they don't talk about interglacial periods that last 90,000 years they don't talk about the strange behavior and recent behavior of the magnetic north pole they don't hardly talk about you know what's going on with our solar disk and that in the last three solar cycles consecutive there has been a decline in solar activity and they don't talk about how that reduces the heliosphere that protects our solar system they don't talk about the importance of a weakening magnetic field on our planet reducing our primary shield the magnetosphere strength and they certainly don't talk about the effects of extra cosmic rays in our upper atmosphere that collide with particles of our atmosphere producing the subatomic particles that we observe at our observatory and at different locations around the world and relay to you guys so largely the information that we provide cannot be found anywhere else freely and you know although we ask for support in terms of donations we don't charge simple reason is for that is because I could not sleep at night if people in Afghanistan were sending money here to this observatory when I know that for a lot of those people in Afghanistan there is no heating there is barely any food and their salaries are well less than five dollars per day so my conscience wouldn't simply allow me to take money off those people and I could not bar them from possibly life-saving information just because of money so I hope that people realize that watch this video and uh, you know follow the Math Star Observatory understand one thing that we are not here for money we're here to help humanity as best as we can I believe in doing my fair share with what ability I've got and you know I have proved that over the last 10 years of you know being committed to the magnetic north pole and some other anomalies and we're here right now we knew that this point in time was going to arrive and we're here right now <coughs> we're on the precipice of possibly witnessing some major changes take place with our world some of those you will be already aware of that the arable land that we grow our crops in over the northern hemisphere is rapidly going offline is changing 
by temperature, the climate in these regions, which is sending the, the land offline, you know, or at least changing the growing patterns um, for crops that can withstand harsher environments as the magnetic North Pole drags the climate along its path towards central Russia. I've said before, you know, I don't believe there's any coincidence that we have over the Northern Hemisphere three anomalies all in the same region, starting with the rotational axis, which has not moved as of yet. But then we have the magnetic North Poles, which we know have been on the move for 100 years since 1990, have increased at the rate of distance over time. And then we have the Arctic climate, and that is moving as the poles move. So will we see a rotational shift as well of the poles? You know, I've showed you experiments where astronauts on the ISS, the International Space Station, have, you know, added weight to a sphere plasticine ball and spun it. And as it spins, it spins probably five times and then reverses five times. Well, if the mass of ice over our northern hemispheres is building up to a point where, you know, it reaches a critical point, there is no reason why that plasticine ball with the nut stuck in the back of it to off-balance the ball um, would not play out in the same way as our Earth would with a massive amount of ice build-up over a particular pole region. Well, all I can say right now is we are following a trend of 10 years now of regaining ice over the Northern Hemisphere. This is a massive slap in the face for the Al Gores around the world. And, you know, we are witnessing a decline in the Arctic, sorry, a decline in CO2. Both of these things would be, as you would expect to see, in a returning back into a glacial period. And we predict that we're probably six to 8,000 years already into that cycle, that 90,000 year cycle. So the worst is yet to come, but well on our way. So there is plenty of reasons why, you know, it is a good idea to, you know, gather a few preps, you know, get your bug out bag, sort it out. And, um, you know, if you like, in the next few days, we'll just go over a few, a few of the things that I've got in my bug out bag. Uh, you can share some of the things that I haven't got, maybe you think I should get. And, um, you know, we'll put that in the comment section so that every one of us can see all these things. And maybe there is some really important things that others haven't got, which is a massively beneficial idea. And maybe might encourage them to get those things as well so that you know our community are as best prepared as we can be for the coming events guys you know i said there was ten thousand people that watched the last video and only 10 people chipped in towards helping i'm sure that we could do a lot better than that the causes are well worthy you know we have fifty thousand people view or subscribe to the channel over 20,000 people view, you know, the one-stop shop for a lot of anomalies that are updated every day on the website. And then, you know, tomorrow, uh, as we normally do, we take out the SD card at the Trimag system, we take a reading of where the magnetic North Pole is. And somebody has suggested that we do it twice a month. And uh, I agree, you know, that's what we'll do. You know, we'll do it on the 17th, we'll wait half of the month, we'll do it again, and then we'll do it on the 17th again. And if we are starting to see, you know, a big increase in activity, then we'll reduce it down to maybe once a week. I'm prepared to do that for us. Um, so, you know, I'll mention the link there. Let's hope that a few people step up to that line. You know, we can save people's lives with information. You know, we do the scientific method here at the observatory and collecting that information by using equipment. There is no way I could do a reading every three seconds of where the magnetic North Pole is as accurately as what the electronics that I built to do the job, to do that. There's no way I could do that. As, you know, 
with the magnetosphere sensor there's no way I could take readings as accurate as the equipment does every 15 minutes but the main point is is that we are using the scientific method to do this we're not just talking about it we're not just going onto other websites on the internet other news media outlets or going to the source like NASA, NOAA, the European Space Agency and regurgitating what they're talking about we're talking about the data that we collect as an observatory that's what we're talking about and the changes that we are seeing and whether I like it or not I report what I get as honestly and as accurately as I possibly can for you guys to keep you guys in the know so I would greatly appreciate at this time a little bit more support if we can I understand a lot of you are completely washed out with coins you've got nothing you're just barely keeping a roof over your head and that is why I say you know this is not mandatory you know we don't charge for this data it's only if you can afford to chip in a few bucks the opportunity is there if you want to help and be proactive you know the link is there you can become one of our patrons as well if you want entirely up to you so I'm hoping guys I can come tomorrow with the SD card break it out for you guys let's have a look at where the magnetic north pole is and um, let's have a look at the magnetosphere strength let's see what's happening through our little window at our observatory around the world hope to see you then link down there if you want to help support that's how we usually do Take care of your loved ones, as always. Bye for now.